Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today to take a look at the Goodwe inverter which was installed about almost two months and I have the full video in my Portuguese channel so I will try to leave a link right over here on the YouTube cards just in case you want to check that out because you don't need to know Portuguese to watch that video and understand the way that it was installed. Now one of the things that I would like to mention is that it has two panels with Hyundai 480 watts and this system is the fourth system that I have at home and this particular system is just here so that I can play around and learn myself a lot more and then share with the community in terms of what I've been learning in terms of positions, in terms of inclination and whatnot. So in terms of the inverter, what I'm going to share with you today, first of all, we are going to talk a little bit about the inverter and then a little bit about the app on mobile and the app on our laptop. Now, regardless of the inverter and regardless of the software, in my opinion, one thing that I can suggest out of the box is that in terms of the software itself, regardless if you think that it's simple or not, I do believe that there are several solutions, which is the ones that I use. In that particular case, I've got the WeeB at the back. I also use Shelly, and that will work with any brand of inverter. So if by some reason you find that this software is not enough, you can get the inverter anyway, because in my opinion, it's really nice and then add some other tool to measure the power consumption and the power production and of course there's also a good way solution which is a smart meter I also have it installed here at home but I will share that information on a separate video because that kind of device is an extra from the inverter and we can use that device with any other brand of inverters that we have as well inverter or micro inverter which i also have the systems that i've got i have solax two of them and then i've got ap systems uh, micro inverter systems on my roof and i've got the goodwe right over here today we are going to talk about the goodwe so the inverter itself has some things that i really enjoy first of all it's really small this is one kilowatt it's the goodwe 1000 x S, and I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check out the specifications and whatnot. In terms of information, what we will get on the screen is really simple but works really well. We'll have the production uh, that we are doing at that particular moment. We also have the total of the day until the moment that we are seeing. And then we have the total amount of kilowatt hour that we have produced since the um, inverter was connected to the grid and to the solar panels which is just great and then of course we have a lot more info but that info uh, volts and dc and whatnot is more if we have any issue and we need to check out the trouble or the technician needs to check it out then those values are great for that for us it doesn't really matter much in terms of connections it has the uh, dc switch on and off which is normal for this kind of inverter and then it has the dc in where we will connect our solar panels it has a wireless um, usb connection so that it can connect to our network and will give us the information that i'm about to show you on the app and on the computer and then it has a com door which is only used to the by the technicians to detect if everything is okay or to do some ep updates or something like that and then it has the ac input and output i say input because it will put ac energy on the inverter but when the inverter is producing energy from the solar panels it will inject in our home and it will make everything consume that energy right over there so the inverter itself it's working really nice in terms of build quality i love it it's really strong and it works great and it has a small footprint compared to my other inverter so i do believe that these are the main advantages of the Goodwe inverter which i really enjoy really easy to assemble as you could see on the installation video now if we take a look at the app on the mobile it's in portuguese but you will easily understand what's here right by looking at it on the first line we have the production for today 1.2 kilowatt hour we have been having some bad days so just have that in mind monthly generation uh, this month 76.3 and then total generation since it was installed 183.5 kilowatt hour and then 
uh, it says how much I did earn. I didn't configure this because I didn't bother. This doesn't tell me much because if I inject energy on my grid, uh, I will not get any money back. So the best solution to save money is to use the energy according to our needs. For example, I've got a device that heats up my water when I have energy that is more than what I'm consuming at home, which is really nice. So I get free water heating right over here. But this is another topic. Now, in terms of the um, app itself, we also have a graphic right over here that we can check out. And one thing that I would like to mention here, and is a downside, but this happens with almost every inverter. And those that I've used and I've seen with friends and so on, they all have the same thing, which is a delay from what we are producing in reality at this moment and what the app shows. And we are talking about uh, uh, a couple of minutes, more or less. So if it's producing 500 watts at this moment, here it's showing 644 watts or something like that. So it will take more time. And that's one of the reasons that I do suggest to use another measurement tools like Shelly or Weeby so that we can do some automatizations like in my particular case to eat up water when I've got more power than I'm consuming. It has to be immediate and just with a few seconds of delay. So that's I'm using Shelly to achieve that. Now, nonetheless, if you don't care about that, you will have a nice graphic right over here. We can watch it by day, for example. I can see the production of the several days right over here. It will show me the total. I can go one week or um, a few weeks um, back or forward and it will show me the results right over here. If I go on a monthly basis, it will show me February, which was when we did install and then March, which is the month that we are right now. March with the lower production because the weather has been really, really bad. And then we have year but the year is only 2022, which was when it was installed. And basically, this is the information that we will get. We'll have the CO2, these things right over here. We have the information from the inverter, which will give us a lot of information. Things that we can also check on the inverter itself, uh, like the production for today, the total generation and so on. You can see right over there. And basically, this is it. Then we have a few options right over here. There are a few notifications. This is the Wi-Fi that I want, if I want to connect to uh, the inverter. There are notifications that we receive on a daily basis. And we can see that right over here. It will send me by email because I did uh, choose that and it will send me a notification on the app stating how much I did produce on that particular day and the amount that we are um, accumulating right over here. So that is really nice. And then the normal configurations. So I can stop that right over there. Now, in terms of the desktop or browsing uh, a website, it can be with your phone or a tablet, this is the information that we are going to get roughly the same information, but displayed on a different scale and orientation. So it says that it has one kilowatt in my particular case, yes. And it has the weather information, what we are producing at this moment with the delay that I said, the generation for today income, if we um, configured the values right over there, and then total generation and total income. And right below is it also has the information from the inverter. Once again, information that most of it, uh, it doesn't mean much to us. For us, it's more if it's working well, how much it's producing, how much my house is consuming, how will I take advantage of the energy that I'm consuming, how much will I save. And that's the most important part. And basically, this is the information. The rest is we can go to the reports and we can generate, I can select right over here, select the inverter, which is the only one that I've got. I can select it this and then I can say, OK, I want the generation with the temperature, the generation of the day, total generation, and I can select the date and then generate data. And it will give me an Excel sheet with all that data that I can produce graphics and so on and so forth. But uh, as I said, once again, Shelly and Weeby will do that automatically for us. And even here we will have graphics with more with the information that we will require. Then we have the generation by day, month, year and some statistics, but nothing that special. And then we have the management, but the management is more for technicians if they need to check if everything is OK with the device, because once we put the device working, the inverter working, we need to have it working. Basically, that is it. We don't need to worry if it has 
x or y volts dc ac and whatnot we need to know how much is producing and how we will take advantage of that energy and guys in terms of the inverter what i can say is that so far it's working great i really enjoy the build quality i really enjoyed the way that it's built in terms of size it's really small for the capacity really really great I'm really happy with the production really happy with the pair that it's doing with the hyundai 480 watt panels that i've got right over there my feedback is really positive the only thing that it's a bit limiting is the software but once again i do not worry about that i would suggest strongly to look at the inverter that you want and if it's a good wee inverter which in my opinion works really well build quality and size then go for it and forget about the software the software we can solve that with other tools including one tool that i will share in a few days which is the Goodwe smart meter which will give us an instantaneous tree of what we are consuming at home and what we are producing with the solar panels like we do with Shelly and Weeby. And guys, this is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.